One of the questions that I get asked all the time is, what do I do if I join? And so understand this, this isn't a job, this is a business and it's your business. So you decide what you do with your time. You're not gonna answer to me, you're not gonna answer to anybody but yourself about what you do. But we do have a proven system. So if you choose to follow the proven system, it will give you the best chance for success. Now, if you want the accountability, if you want someone to, you know, kick you in the rear end or something, I'm I'm happy to help you with accountability, but I will not be there behind you with a whip and chain and saying, you know, do this, do this, do this, because it's your business. It's your life. It's your success. You have to ultimately be the one responsible for that. I need you to understand that. But here's what you do. Primarily, you're going to be sharing products that you believe in with people that you care about. You know, just think about uh, because the, the reality is you're probably already network marketing. Uh, have you have you seen a movie lately and told your people about it? Have you uh, has anyone said, oh, I love that lipstick or I love that uh, that that car, that jacket, anything, you know, and, and you say, oh, yeah, I got it at. And you've told somebody you told somebody what to do or what where, where you got something or what not to do, don't eat at X, Y, Z. Don't go there, you'll get food poisoning. You know, you've network marketed, you just didn't get paid for it. So basically, what we're doing here is we're just saying, you know, go ahead and do this. You're already doing these things. We're just going to teach you how to casually and subtly you don't have to become a salesperson you just make very very small shifts in in the way you do things and you you just share things that you you know that you that you like and give them to the <laughs> The goal is to share products that you trust with the people that you care about. Uh, aside from that, you may say, I don't really know anybody. Now, you may be surprised at how many people you do know. So take that out of it for a minute. But the other thing that, that we always tell you is, you know a lot of people, but even if you didn't, when you're out living the life you live, you just start to make some small changes. You start conversations and keep it in the back of your mind. Oh my gosh, they just said something, you know, that I think I've got a product that could help them. Before it would have never occurred to you, but now you'll think differently. It's just minor shifts. And, and so while you're out, you just network market. You don't really need to change anything so you still go to church or or choir or uh you know go to the club or wherever you're going you're still out and about you're just integrating the conversations every now and then you know don't become that guy who who gets excommunicated from the family reunion but <laughs> you know just just let people know what you do and then when the time is right they'll come to you you don't have to bang them over the head with something that just let them know what you do the other thing that you want to do is plug in and make sure that you are on a regular basis working on yourself your self-development and then your your training so a little bit of product training every day every week depending on what pace you want to go and then self-development every day now that is so important for us as human beings 
no matter what. We should be doing that anyway, right? Uh, I think the world would be a better place if we just did that anyway. So business or not, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of motivation, inspiration in our day, regardless. Uh, and then just building your business, you know, build your customer base, make sure that you're, you know, messaging people that maybe you haven't talked to, maybe a high school friends or college friends or uh, any anybody, just reach out to people every now and then and just keep those, you know, communications you know, talk to people. That's all you got to do. You don't have to be salesy. You don't have to. Sometimes just communicating and saying, hey, how you doing? It's that easy. You know, conversation, building relationships. That's really all we do. Uh, and then participating in a supportive community. That's uh, in our community. And, uh, you know, we have on social media, we have become like a family. We have every three months ish, uh, we have really great, we call them boot camps, and we have the most fun. Uh, we went to Vegas this last one, it was Dallas. Uh, we're going to Orlando the next time. Uh, these are so much fun because you get a great big full day on Saturday of the, the training and everything, but then the rest of the time, you're really getting to know each other and, and you're just filling yourself and each other full of, you know, friendships and relationships that you've made through online that you wouldn't have had if not for this business. Now, I don't know about you, but some people are maybe maybe a little bit lonely and and maybe having those connections with people is important. And and I I personally I, I'm, you know, I'm a professional, uh, at my day job and I have, I have cats and I have a, you know, grown children. So for me, having friends through this business has become something that's really important to me. They've become like family. So I love having the quarterly events it's really become an important, you know, go-to thing for me. So that as well is something that I think that you'll really enjoy. Uh, and that's, that's kind of what we do. We, we, we build our business. Uh, you don't have to go to the events if you don't want to, but, but the, the education and the entertainment, the fun things that we do, my gosh, we had a penthouse party in Las Vegas, uh, just in October. It was so fun. I mean, no, no caustics, you know, was spared. Amazing, amazing times. But that's what you do. You just minor tweaks to your, your regular life. You don't have to make major changes. You make minor tweaks, plug in a couple times a week for the trainings and, and decide, you know, do you want to go all in and, and make major changes? If you do, then that's absolutely possible and, and expect that your changes will reflect more quickly. But if you just want to make some small changes and small, shorter growth, that's absolutely fine too. I, I kind of call this one kind of like a set it and forget it, um, where, where you just put yourself on like auto ship, which is an option you don't have to, but most of us do. Um, but you don't have to, uh, but you know, just kind of like a set it and forget it because a lot of people are so busy. They just, they want to set it and forget it on auto shop so that they stay there. And then if they ever see someone, then they can sell something and then they can recruit somebody, but otherwise they just set it and forget it. And some people do that and that's absolutely fine. And they're okay with very slow growth because they have a, a very, very, you know, that's their goal is just very small, very slow. And then a lot of us have a more aggressive growth pattern. And most of us, you know, a lot of us want to go more quickly. So it just depends on what your goals are. Uh, it's, it, it really is your goals will determine what you do.